Hi everyone, welcome back. So today's topic is we are going to develop a program to find a word in a given text file. So if you can remember, if you can remember, we have started with the uh, file handling in my previous tutorial and we have understood about the two important methods that is the read line method and the read lines. And we are going to develop this program using first we are going to use the read line method and then we are going to use the read lines method. Read line basically reads only one line and it will return that line as a string. And read lines basically reads the entire file, all the lines from the file and it will return that those lines in form of a list. So we are going to develop this program using both these methods. Okay, so we will start it. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to have a file. Now I'm using the same file out here that is I'll just show you which I have stored on my D drive that is info. Okay, so you can see this is the same file we have used in my previous tutorial. So I'm going to use the same file and uh, so I will use this file and I open this file using the open method. So I've stored it on a D drive. So info.txt and the mode will be R since I'm opening the file in read mode. Okay, so okay, something went wrong. Okay, now it's perfect. So I've opened the file and the next thing that I require is a word to find. So I will accept that word from the user. So I will say enter the word to search or to find. Okay, now using the read line method, the first thing we need to do is we need to have a variable maybe ch or string, I will say s is equal to one blank space. So remember there is a blank space out here. Do not give an empty string. Okay, just give one blank space. And then I'm going to start with a while loop and I say while s. Okay, and I'm going to read the first line into s that is fh dot read line. So this will read the first line. And then I'm going to use the split method. Now, if you can remember the split method basically works where it splits that particular uh, string using a particular uh, character. If you do not pass any character to this list, so by default, it will take a uh, space. So if you are searching for a word, so basically there will be a word which will have a space before and after. Okay, just to show you how this is going to work, I'll just use the same thing out here, okay? And uh, this entire thing, I'll just put it under the, uh, just as a string. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm just simply going to print L. So what L is going to have? L will have the, uh, you know, a list which will have uh, the items in form of words. So this will read the first line and since I'm using the split method, it will split all the words, all the words from the lines and uh, the, it will it will actually check for the spaces before the word and after the word and that thing will be taken as a word and it will be stored in a list. So if you see the output for this, so we are just reading the first line and we are splitting that uh, line and having the words into this list okay so let us run this and see the output okay there is an error so over here that is okay I, I did not define this l is equal to a list okay okay no I don't require this because this returns a list anyway so if I okay just let me just run this again triple quotes okay I just need to end this over here okay now let us just run this and uh, okay we're not finding any word as such right now so we'll give just a word like python forget this okay we're not doing anything with this word and here is this list and if you see the list okay I will just see the file now and we have read the first line you can see the line starts with all the blank spaces then the word python and it ends at this uh, comma so if you see here is this list and it has written all the words 
in form of item so this is the first item in the list is is the second item and is the third interpreted is the fourth and so on so we already have this words got separated in form of a list and then what we are going to do is just use this okay but well, i will not use this print i'll use this cut over here and our paste is inside the loop because we have to read all the lines this will basically read the first line and then we will split it and then using if statement if word in L, that's it so this will basically check whether the word exists in the list or not and the list will have the the words from all that line isn't it so if it exists if this condition goes true then I will print s we can also have the line number so how can we have the line number that is i will have a count variable as one and i will say over here that line number line number and i say count and then i will say i can just simply give this colon and then the line i will display it okay so let us run this and see if everything is working fine or not but before that i just need to increment this counter inside the while loop okay do not increment this inside the if statement otherwise the counter will show you the wrong line number okay now let us run this and see the output so if i give the word like python and you can see that the word python exists in line number one line number four five six nine and ten so let us just uh, cross check this so this is the first line that is python then it is saying line number uh line number four okay so you if you uh, if you're guessing for this this is pythons that is uh, you know so it is we are only looking for the word python okay so line number one then line number four so one two three four and here it is python then five you can see this is line number five and in line number five we have it over here then we have uh, six you can see over here so it is uh, absolutely working fine isn't it so it is so simple to uh, read line by line and we can check for the word whether it exists in that particular line so we have developed this program using read line so what does the read line does is it reads the first line and then we will split that we will have all the words separated then we will check whether the word exists in this list or not if the condition goes true we are going to display the count that is the line number and then the string and again the while loop runs and then the next line will be read from the file and so on and the moment all the lines are read this will return a empty string over here and the moment it has an empty string this while loop will uh, will break okay so this is how this entire program is working now the same thing we can do using a read lines method now understand if you are reading the entire file using read line then in that case you need to have a loop because this will only read the first line and then you can perform some operation then again i want to read the second line so a loop should go on isn't it so i need this while loop so if you're using a read line and you want to display the entire file so in that case you need to have a loop now the second method is read lines so i'll just delete this entire thing so read lines basically will read everything from the file all the lines and it will return all the lines in form of a list so simply if i use this and i display the list so l will have all the lines in form of a list so the first item will be the first line the second item will be the second line and so on so let me just show you the output for this so we're not going to do anything with this word at this point i'm just displaying the file so i'll just give any input as okay and now you can see over here this is the list it started from here and it ended over here and you can see that this is the first line which ends over here so this is the first item in the list this is the second item right and then this is the uh, third item and so on so it has read all the lines and we have those lines as the elements or items in the list so if i say l of zero when i say l of zero basically i'm referring to the first line if i say l of one so i'm referring to the to the second line and so on so if using the index value i can access this 
or I can simply use you know for i in L that is a list traversal and print i so you, we will be actually using the same thing okay I'll just remove this and I simply say for i in L so this i will basically have the first item from the list that is the first line okay and then I will use the same thing that is I will use L2 is equal to i dot split right and uh, then I will check whether if word in L2 if this works if this condition is true then I will print the line number we'll have the line number the line number and count and then I will have this colon and then I will print the I now I will have that or the first line or the second line whatever it is okay so basically this will always have the line the string so this is how I'm going to uh, work with this and then okay let us have this count as one then I'm going to increment the counter so counter will go on okay so this will basically we have already read all the lines using this function that is read lines and we had that in a list and then I used a for loop this is a list traverser I'm accessing every element or item from that list so I will have every uh, line from that list so first line I will have I will split it I will check it and I will print it then the next line and so on so we will just run this program and see the output so okay let me just close this okay I'll run this again okay now let us uh, do the same thing same input that is Python and you can see over here that is line number one this first line four five six so even this is working absolutely the same way as the previous program isn't it and uh, okay now let us give some other input for example if uh, my file I will try to check for the word maybe aim okay let us try to check for the word aim and you can see it is only present in the line that is line number three so we have only one line where the word aim exists so this is absolutely working fine okay so this is how you can uh, read the file using the read line and you can you know use the second method that is read lines and then we can perform operations like finding the word or finding a character or anything any operation that you want to perform and this is how you can perform the operations okay so i hope this tutorial tutorial is very much useful to you bye for now